The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I am Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, I make videos about health and healthcare topics and today we are going to discuss about cardiac arrest and all as you know all my information is directly referenced from US National Medical Library so you can trust the information many of you have been confusing cardiac arrest with heart attack they are two different things right today we are clear all these uh, issues these confusions right uh, what is cardiac arrest, how it happens, what are the complications, how you can treat it, how to prevent it. Everything will be covered today, so stay tuned. So what is cardiac arrest? Cardiac arrest is when your heart stops beating, it stops pumping because of any reason. If it stops, it's cardiac arrest. When it stops, your blood pressure will become zero. When the, there is no pressure in the blood, the blood will not flow and it will not go to your organs, to the brain, to the kidney, to all the organs. So your brain, your kidney, everywhere, everything will start dying, so start crying for oxygen and without oxygen they cannot function. So within 30 seconds your brain starts dying, right? And after a certain period, it, uh, this becomes irreversible. So there is a very short window of a few minutes, right? A few minutes and as soon as heart stop, you need to start reviving it or else, or else invariably that person will die. Right. So most cases, in most cases, when a heart stops, that person dies because of this sole reason. Right. Because of the delay in CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Right. So that is the main treatment. We don't go for any other test. When the heart stops, there is no pulse, there is no BP. The patient will become unconscious. Right. And you need to start CPR immediately the chest compressions the oxygen which you give through an ambu bag or through mouth to mouth breathing if you don't have a person then chest compressions are enough right so this is cpr is the main treatment so what happens why do why does a cardiac arrest happen why does a heart stop right see heart attack is different heart attack is when blood supply to certain part of the heart will get blocked Right. If that is, it's a small part, the heart still keeps on beating and might uh, decrease in its functionality a little bit. The pumping power will decrease. Maybe it's a small part and the rest of the heart is beating. One part has stopped. So heart does not stop. Right. That is not cardiac arrest. Only if there are certain big area of the heart is involved and blood supply to a big area of the heart has stopped. Uh, then it's possible that heart attack can lead to heart attack, uh, cardiac arrest. Heart attack can lead to cardiac arrest and remember cardiac arrest does not happen purely because of blood supply problem. It happens because of electrical supply problem. Yes, there is electrical circuit inside the heart which actually the uh, four chambers of the heart they actually beat in a symmetry. The upper chamber beats when this pumps the lower chamber fills the blood and when this pumps this this will fill but this will not fill back it will actually pump the blood outside because there is a valve. There is a valve here and this will pump, this will fill, this will pump, this will go out. So this is how it goes in the heart. So if there is a problem in this circuit, right, if there is a, uh, if the connection gets cut and the blood flow, they are pumping together, the blood will not go away, to go out and this will cause problems in the heart can stop. This is called CHB, complete heart blocks, right, connection problem. And even uh, ventricles, the lower portion of the heart, when it actually stops pumping, it can actually cause this fibrillation. It can just do this. Instead of pumping, it can just vibrate. So this fibrillation is an effective, ineffective pumping. That ineffective contraction can lead to cardiac arrest. If not uh, revived, resuscitated, right, cardioverted immediately. So VTVF needs to be cardioverted by using a shock which you have seen in the movies shock therapy or medicines right medical and or dc cardioversion 
so that is the main reason electrical problem in the heart and this electrical problem can be because of certain reasons like a heart attack if there is a blockage to that part of the heart which controls the electrical circuit heart can stop right coronary artery disease acute coronary syndrome all are heart attacks okay then there can be heart failures heart failure also if heart is very weak heart is dilated it has been infected it has been you know very huge right congestive heart failure can lead to this problem again ventricular fibrillation can happen valvular heart disease if the valve is problematic and it's leaking back into the atrium it can cause the uh, upper chambers to become enlarged and cause problem in the electrical circuit again the heart can stop right so ventricular heart ventr uh, valvular heart disease can cause this problem recreational drugs can cause this problem right the steroids which you take uh, any anything else which you take like uh, cocaine or any recreational drugs like heroin cocaine marijuana anything anything these things can cause heart to stop certain medicines allopathic medicines can increase your chances of ventricular fibrillation that's why medicine needs to be given only when needed right they are not uh, something which you can take by yourself should not then some actual physical stress severe physical stress will lead to such kind of heart cardiac arrest what kind of physical stress a huge trauma right a big accident right a trauma to a hand sometimes if the uh, a severed hand or uh, abdominal trauma something like this a lot of blood loss can lead to cardiac arrest then a huge electrical shock right can lead to cardiac arrest so these are the reasons and there is one genetic problem also which is very rare but can be found it it is called brugada syndrome with in which there is a history of cardiac arrest in the family in otherwise normal people the people just uh, have a sudden cardiac arrest in the family that is uh, where <clears throat> brugada syndrome a certain uh, pattern of ecg changes are seen in the family right in those cases or in cases where the ventricle is fibrillating again and again we have to shock again and again 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 fibrillation again again shock to correct it we put a implantable defibrillator icd it it is put under your clavicle go the wire goes inside the heart and it detects whenever the heart is getting uh, fibrillations it will give a short small shock and correct the rhythm right icd that is given only if vtvf are happening again and again right so that is one thing then as i said this needs to be reversed immediately as soon as possible within seconds within a few minutes right cpr needs to be done defibrillation might be needed shock might be needed if not then the pipr person will die if there is a delay in resuscitation or if the patient is resuscitated after a prolonged time maybe 10 minutes 5 minutes of resuscitation the patient gets you know return of spontaneous spontaneous circulation the heart starts be beating then for that time 5 minute 10 minute 15 minutes the damage might have happened in the brain oxygen uh, is not there so without oxygen hypoxic ischemia and damage encephalopathy in the brain in the kidneys in every organ right multi organ failure can happen brain damage can happen kidney can shut down so that is how uh, later on the patient will face a lot of problems in the icu if the cardiac arrest happens all right so it's a big issue so how to prevent this the only way to prevent this is to keep your heart healthy get it checked regularly do regular exercise have a good diet and manage your risk factors diabetes hypertension cholesterol your weight your exercise your lifestyle your stress right your sleep pattern your smoking drinking and drug habits everything needs to be managed regular exercise the most biggest thing right so this is all about cardiac arrest i hope you like the video if you did give me a big thumbs up and do comment let me know how did you like and let me know if you want me to make a video on your favorite topic or some topic i will uh, duly consider and don't forget to share this video i'll see you next time i'm dr paramjit you're watching doctor education stay connected stay healthy